Hello, world! Today is December 24th, 2012, and that means I am finally done with finals, and Christmas is right around the corner. I can't wait to get to making tons of videos for you guys. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Now, one of my favorite things about Kerbal Space Program is how accurate it is. In some cases, it's like too accurate. A lot of new players get swamped with all these crazy space terms, so I figured I'd try to stop that effect and define some terms for players new to spaceflight. So, without further ado, let's get started. An orbit is the path of a celestial object or spacecraft around a star, planet, or moon. A suborbital trajectory is a flight path that intersects the surface of a star, planet, or moon. In other words, you're going to crash. A circular orbit is an orbit in which the spacecraft or moon stays at the same altitude throughout. An elliptical orbit is an orbit that is closer to the parent body in some parts than others. A parabolic or hyperbolic orbit is an orbit that leaves the parent body. An apoapsis is the highest point, or zenith, in an orbit. By Kepler's second law of planetary motion, this is also the point the orbiting body is moving the slowest. A periapsis is the lowest point in an orbit. This is also the point the orbiting body is moving the slowest. You might also hear perigee, perichi, paramoon, etc., perihelion maybe. These are all specific terms to the parent body. So, chi is kerbin, g is also earth. Moon is obviously moon, min, min mist, etc., etc. Helio is sun. You might hear these extra terms. A burn is when you fire the main engines in such a way to affect your orbit. Prograde is the direction your ship is traveling, as noted by a green circle on your nav ball. You have to burn this way to increase speed. Retrograde is the opposite direction of prograde. Burn this way to reduce speed. A retro burn is a word you might hear sometimes. That means a burn along the retrograde vector. A retrograde orbit is something different. A retrograde orbit is any orbit that's clockwise instead of counterclockwise. You can also think of it as any orbit with a 270 degree heading. Radial means away from a celestial body. In terms of someone on the ground, that means up. Normal is perpendicular to the plane of your orbit. In any circular 90 degree orbit, this just means north. Antiradial and antinormal are the opposite directions of radial and normal, respectively. In other words, down and south, respectively. The eccentricity is how not circular your orbit is. If your eccentricity is zero, your orbit is circular. If it's between zero and one, your orbit's elliptical. If it's one, your ship has barely enough energy to be hyperbolic, and if it's greater than one, it's hyperbolic. The orbital plane is the imaginary two-dimensional surface in which your orbit lies. The inclination is how much your orbital plane is off between that of your reference body. In general, it's relative to the parent body's equator. You can also change your craft's inclination by boring normal or anti-normal. Ascending and descending nodes are the points at which two orbital planes intersect. The angle measurement here is your inclination relative to the target body. At the ascending node, your craft is rising above your target's plane, and at the descending node, it's falling below. A gravity turn is the transition between burning directly upwards and horizontal during launch. The Oberth effect is the fact that your burn is more efficient the faster you're moving. A slingshot is when you use the gravitational attraction of a celestial body to influence your orbit. A transfer, or injection burn, is a burn that sets your craft into a transfer orbit. And a transfer orbit is the path your craft takes when transitioning between orbital altitudes, usually to an orbit matching a target body. A Haman transfer is a fairly simple way to transfer between two circular orbits. Step 1. Burn prograde until your apoapsis reaches your target altitude. And step 2. Burn prograde at your apoapsis until your orbit's circular again. The sphere of influence, or SOI, of a celestial body is the imaginary sphere inside which its gravitational influence on your craft is larger than any other body in the solar system. A close approach is when you come close to a celestial body, but not necessarily within its sphere of influence. A breaking burn is a burn to transition between a hyperbolic orbit and an elliptical orbit. Aerobraking is when you strategically use the atmosphere of a celestial body to slow your craft down. A rendezvous is a close encounter between two spacecraft. It's usually defined as close enough to see individual sections of the other ship with the naked eye. Station keeping is when two craft match orbits during a rendezvous. This usually is a precursor to docking. And docking is when two spacecraft connect through docking ports to become a larger spacecraft. SSTO, or single stage to orbit, is any craft that can go from the launch pad to orbit without dropping any stages, and any space plane is any plane that launches horizontally and can get into orbit. Boosters are rockets attached to the side of the main craft that are designed to boost it out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. 
Asparagus boosters is a special setup of boosters that maximizes fuel efficiency. Engine clusters is when you use multiple smaller engines in place of one big one. And that's all for now. If there's any words you think I should add, just ask, and I may make a new glossary. I'm also planning on making videos to go further in depth on certain topics listed here, such as launches, orbits, dockings, and transfers. But that's all for now, and I will see you out there.